Happy Friday, you suckers. Time for the Inky Man Show. That's my shit. I'm not afraid. You will be. You will be. You will be. What up? What up? What up? What up? It's your boy. Happy Friday, you suckers. You know, I know. Let me just say this real quick. I know that this squeaking chair it just annoys me when I watch the video. So I do apologize if it does annoy you. And if it doesn't, appreciate you. Happy Friday, you suckers. Happy payday, you suckers. So let's just jump right into it, man. You know, typically on Fridays, what I try to do is adjust some comments. Address some comments, yeah. I want to thank you for the comments. Both of those came from the same person. I appreciate you. Somebody's paying attention. You know, I've been on this health, wealth, wisdom since the beginning of the year. And uh, it's nice to see that someone is paying attention. Not that I have to have compliments. Not that you have to tell me I look good. But it does feel good when someone does pay attention. So, you know, if you've been following me on Facebook, then you know that Cookie and I have been going to the gym training to kick ass. I call it the ass kicking boot camp. And we've been doing pretty good with that, man. I'm noticing a difference, a lot more energy. You know, I'm paying attention to my foods and tracking my foods. A lot of times I'm at a caloric deficit, which is good as far as weight loss. But I'm at a plateau now, so I got to find out what that next thing is. Um, other than that, I want to speak on trying new things. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Monday or Wednesday, I said something about trying new things. I wanted to try new things. And... Um, still have to do ESST, um, but comedy, comedy, comedy. Now, I'm not saying that I'm going to be stand doing stand up, but I had a book. I have a bunch of books in my Kindle reader that I got from Amazon. One of them is about. One of them is called the Comedy Bible. And at one time, I was thinking about doing stand up. Um, there's a lot of places out here. Jimmy Kimmel has a comedy store. Has a comedy spot. Uh, Brett, Brad Garrett has his comedy spot The guy from Everybody Loves Raymond uh, There's the Laugh Factory There's a few other comedy spots that are here in Vegas Inside clubs and stand alone And um, I remember seeing I think it was in Groupon Maybe That one of the clubs was actually offering Comedy classes That you could take a course on Writing comedy and try your hand at, 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 at comedy and I wanted to do that. And then I just kind of dashed that, that <laughs> pun intended, kind of dashed that idea away. But uh, during that time, I bought a comedy Bible, this thing called the Comedy Bible. And it basically has exercises in it and things like that so that you can uh, learn to write comedy. And if nothing else, do stand up teach you how to get gigs this that and the third so i figured let me crack the book open if nothing else it will give me the ability to write shows that are funnier you know really get into it and then big shout to my man jb because he told me he at one time he said to me i think comedy is your calling uh i will say that as i've been doing the exercise in the book comedy i do have, I have some some chops you know um but i wouldn't want to be the the comedians of Nowadays, where it's just I'm, I'm funny, doing funny skits, and that's it. If I do pursue it, I might do a little stand up, see how it is. You know, nothing else, open mics. But I really wanted to get into comedy writing to see, you know, ways that I can step up the game as far as just my writing, period. Because writing is a very good skill to have, and uh, just being able to write funnier shows. So, um, speaking of speaking of that, speaking of that. This week I had released a new character named Brother Man, who does nothing but tell dad jokes. Check this out. Wanna hear some dad jokes? 
Got some jokes for your ass. Why don't eggs tell jokes? Because they'd crack each other up. Did you hear about the cheese factory explosion? There was nothing left but debris. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. How do you organize a space party? You plan it. What did one plate say to the other plate? Dinner's on me. I'm on a whiskey diet. I've lost three days already. Want to hear some dad jokes? Got some jokes for your ass. What did one ocean say to the other ocean? Nothing. They just waved. Why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. I'm reading a book about anti-gravity. It's impossible to put down. What's Forrest Gump's password? One Forrest one. Why don't skeletons fight each other? They don't have the guts. I used to play piano by ear, but now I use my hands. Did you hear about the guy who invented lifesavers? He made a mint. <laughs> okay, so I have to admit something on this one. That whole thing was all AI. All AI. Obviously, that wasn't anybody that's real. Those jokes, though, was all AI. Now, that's not what I'm going to do as far as writing jokes. Um, and to be honest with you, I tried. Like, I tried to get it to tell me a whole bunch of dad jokes, and it basically gave me, like, the same 20, 30. So, anyway, I wouldn't do that. Um, I am actually going to write based off of the book that I'm reading. Let me show you. Just so you know, you know, I'm not just saying stuff to be saying stuff. And this is for my other comedy writers, I'm trying to show you the cover of the book. Let's see if I just went to cover of the book. Yeah, that would make sense. Right here. The New Comedy Bible. So, I've been looking at this, and uh, I'm really going to be writing some jokes and stuff. I was actually, what I was trying to do for this particular episode was actually do a standard routine and let y'all test it out. Maybe Friday I'll do that. Uh, but I will say this. And I'm going to tag you in Facebook if you're some of my friends here. I have friends who are actual comedians. So I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to be able to have a conversation with them. Interview style like I've been doing with the past guests that I have on the show. Have them on the show and maybe discuss the science and the history of of uh, doing comedy. Um, one of them, one of my friends actually writes the screenplays has done voiceovers you've seen them in movies another friend of mine or a friend of mine in facebook is an actual well-known rapper who has turned into a comedian would love to get him on the show trust me i would love to get him on the show and then i have a friend whose son has jumped into it and we're both alums of the same school so i'm saying that and tagging y'all because my thing is to reach out to you and see if I can get you on the show. It would be great to be able to talk comedy and see what it is that I would have to do and just learn. I mean, I'm sure there's people that are watching that are trying to get into comedy. Um, and if nothing else, just, just knowing that kind of stuff. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm going to shoot for that. I'm going to push for that. Uh, in the meantime, though, um, the Inky Man Podcast is live, ladies and gentlemen. I am now on Spot Spotify. Welcome to the Inky Man Podcast, a place where inspiration meets the seductive worlds of gastronomic exploration and flashing Las Vegas lights. Your host, Inky Man, will take you on a tour around the vibrant streets of Vegas while providing you with a delightful fusion of culinary delights, motivation, and insight. Whether you're craving insider information on the greatest eateries in the area or you're searching for inspiration to help you reach your goals, the Inky Man Podcast is your go-to source for everything positive, Las Vegas approved, and foodie approved. So grab a seat, hit play, and let's explore Inky Man's dynamic fusion of culinary adventures and inspiration. So what you would do is you go to Spotify, look in the podcast, and look for Inky Man Podcast. And right now what the podcasts are, I got some of them, well, right now what the podcast is are the interviews that I've done, but they're full form. You know, I, I try to make the show about 10 minutes. So when you've seen Daryl Harmon, when you've seen Xavier Farrell, when you've seen Jadero Belzer, Mega Spins, these guys were on my show, but they were only on that show for maybe about 10 minutes. In some cases, I did break into part two, but the reality is those talks were like an hour. So now you have the ability to go ahead and check it out. And those of you who are on the show, that were on the show go ahead and let people know that you were on the show that would help me out greatly that would help me out greatly right now just by not really advertising it i got about two people that tune into the show and i think one of them is 
it's me. When I look at the metrics, it doesn't say who. It just says how many plays, how many people are subscribed. But go on out there and subscribe to it. Uh, that would be doing me a huge favor. That's all you got to do. Just subscribe. It would be nice to go ahead and check it out, get some feedback on it. But, uh, you know, this is an upgrade. This is the next level of the show. All right? With that being said, I appreciate y'all supporting your boy, Inky Man. Happy Friday to you. Happy payday, you suckers. I'll see y'all on Monday. Later. I'm out, yo. I'm out, yo. Tune in Monday for Motivation Monday. And more from the other Chocolate Boy Wonder, Inky Man. Big shout out to Pete Rock. What's the difference between a bodega and a bodega? I'll say in this instance, Bud used to have his store organized, you know, on the shelves, this, that, and the third. Tony, I'll say this, because I don't want this to come off crazy, but I do want to say this.